Right everybody, sorry that it's not my usual quality video at the moment. Um, I'm currently at work and I've just been made aware there is a new DJI Fly app version 1.3.0 that has been launched. So this video is going to show you how to install it and before you start telling me that you already know how to install it, there is a little hoop you need to jump through to be able to get this one. So it looks like the new DJI FPV is going to be run on the DJI Fly app and that's what is in the release notes. It does also mention that there's some app smoothness and improvements, but as you can see, and like I've said, I'm at work, so I can't go test those out right at this moment in time, but there is a new app update, app update, and just to put it out there, anybody that watches this, app updates don't affect firmware, okay? They do not affect the air aircraft flight, so let's just put that to bed. Okay, so don't worry, your drone's not gonna fly any different or it certainly shouldn't. Hopefully maybe just added a couple of additional menus. But like I said, I'll look at it when I get home and report back. I do have another video launching later on this evening. So don't forget to look out for that. But anyway, let's get into it and show you how exactly to install this update. Right then everybody, so let's look at the usual way you would need to do it. So let's click DJI and then you can see, let's look through these. Let's go to the DJI Download Center. Now if we do that, you will see we are still on version 1.2.4 for iOS or 1.2.4 for Android. So here's the workaround. This is for Android and iOS both. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our page at the top. We're gonna to type in www.dji.com forward slash UK forward slash mini dash two forward slash downloads as you can see right there you must input that link you must input that address to be able to get the right page so let's click that now we've clicked that as you can see we've scrolled and now you can see version 1.3.0 for app store and for android all right so as you can see the dji fly app interface was designed to be simplified and ultra intuitive compatible for mavic mini mini 2 mavic air 2 and dji fpv so there it is guys this app update is to give support for the dji fpv drone which is launching tomorrow so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and install that just by clicking it i'm on android you can ask us if we want to download it usually yep download there we go let's open that We'll open it and that's it, you're good to go. So as I've mentioned, I am at work, so I can't do a full app review at the moment. But just to reiterate, app updates do not affect flight performance, so there should be no difference. So you can just go ahead and install that and there shouldn't be any problems. But of course, I will do a full review when I get chance. Hopefully, if I'm that useful, and like I say, if you do go to the regular DJI download page, it's not going to show. You need to go to the Mini 2 one specifically, and to make this easier, as I mentioned in the little tutorial, I will leave a link in the description below to be able to go get that for yourself. Hopefully, you found this useful. Just click the link in the page, and just, it'll download automatically. Go ahead and install, and away you, away you go. It doesn't seem like it's the type that's going to log you out, but uh, hopefully... Uh, it's all good on your device. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like this video and see you on the next one.